I've been to six ice shows this season and I picked up a lot of cool new stuff that I'm excited to show you here behind me. I've had quite a few people asking, so I figured it's time to put the video together before I start taking it all apart and getting it ready for first ice. So let's jump in. Starting at the top here, this is a pretty basic item, uh, but it could be nice to have this year, so I'm excited to try it out. It is from the Bobber Buddy. This is a whole sleeve cover. And so this is gonna go around, you can kind of see here. I'm in the core ice shack I'm gonna be using this year. There's these hole sleeves that you throw into the floor. This goes around it to help keep it insulated so that way your hole doesn't freeze up. Uh, I'm excited to try this out uh, where I have my live scope hole just to see if it makes a difference this year. It goes right on the outside of it. Uh, I'll link everything that I got here down below in case you're interested in picking any of the stuff up or checking out more details on it. This isn't going to be an in-depth video into any one product, but hopefully touch the surface, get you guys excited too. Uh, drop down in the comments if you picked any of the stuff up. I'd be interested to know what you got as well. This guy right here, Bubba Pro Series Smart Fish Scale. I talked about this back uh, when it was announced at iCast. This is a weight scale. This is uh, the best in class accuracy of 0.3%. Uh, I'm excited to try this out. I know ice fishing, you typically do length, but open water, this thing's gonna be phenomenal as well. It is, uh, I got it 20% off, I think right now. You can even get them 25% off online, but I'm excited to try that thing out. Catch and cook. I ordered these, they had to come down from Canada because I don't know if they have these in the States yet. Lemon pepper. This is the new catch and cook uh, uh, fish fry batter, uh, the new flavor for this year. Check it out, I bought a three pack from them online. Clam Aurora LED light. Uh, this is one of two. I got the base kit and then I got the extension kit. So this is the thing that you can put in your hub house, your flip over shack. It's got an adapter and everything on it. Uh, these are really cool. I'm excited to try this out in one of the hub shacks that I have this year. Then you can't go wrong. I was at one of the shows and I tr tried these things out and they're phenomenal. These are the small shears from Bubba. Uh, you can never have too many scissors, and these small ones are phenomenal. Really nice grip on them. You've got a couple other attachments on the back end here. Super sharp. I was told if you get these, don't let your wife use them. Otherwise, you'll never see them again. She'll love them. Uh, so I actually had to order these. They were on back order. Took like three weeks to get them, but definitely worth it. So that's that guy. Next up, we've got the Clam Predator tip-up. I'm really excited about this. I went back and forth on it at the beginning of the show season when I was looking into them, but I'm really excited to try it out. I live here in Minnesota, so I can't use the hook setting feature, but I like the idea of the durability, the ease of use. There's nothing you need to put on your line to make it work. I use finicky foolers right now uh, to be able to do basically tip down or tip up fishing with your rod, but I'm excited to try this one out this year. Uh, and there'll be a lot of videos. Hopefully first ice video, I'll even get this thing out. Moving over, we've got some of the, we'll talk about what's on the bottom here. So Eskimo E40. So this is the E40 eight inch composite auger. I'm really excited to try out 13 and a half pounds. This is gonna be my first ice machine. I'm going first ice, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days here. And so I needed to do the video so I could take it out of the box and start using it. Of course, you gotta get an extra battery. I've got uh, an extension as well. I've got some, which I'll talk about here in a second, but the, the quick connect kit. So that way I'm gonna be able to do that. Of course, I won't need the extension for first ice, but I'm really excited about that. I have the Ion Alpha Plus as well, but this is even lighter than it. So I'm excited to use it first ice. And then Eskimo, uh, a couple of other accessories. There's other accessories that I got too that aren't gonna be in this video, but this is just a majority, give you a, a, an idea of some of the things that I picked up. So I'm excited, the eHub table here, uh, this is gonna be going in this ice house that I'm standing in right now. This is gonna go in probably my one man uh, shack on the back of the seat. I've got a clam one there now, but I might switch it out for this Eskimo one. It's the shelter seat organizer. And then I got this guy, this is the clam uh, extra wide milk crate. So it's not the square, it's actually wider than that. Uh, the reason why I got this is because you can actually put your live scope bundle in this and it fits even in a bag. Uh, it doesn't fit in a normal size milk crate. So that's why I wanted to get that guy. And then of course down below that, what you're gonna see here, this is a 10 inch auger bit. It is a steel bit. It's not the one that's the bit that's supposed to go with the alpha, but it was $50 on ION's website. And so I picked it up. I like putting 10 inch holes in permanent jacks. Everything else I do is eight inch holes though. 
Uh, so that's why I got that guy. The Plano cases from Fishmore. So it's not the cases that are exciting, it's what's inside of them that matters. So you probably saw, I picked a bunch of these up last year. I picked even more up this year. The, these are my secret weapons for how I keep spoons organized. Everybody has a really good jig box. Jigs are really easy. You put a slit in foam and you put it in there. Not only do they have that for jigs, but they have all of these really cool ways to organize your spoons. And I'll be doing probably another couple of videos on how I do my, uh, my tackle bag and my assortment for this year. But you can see here, you put your spoons in here, but you have big spoons, little spoons. You've got extra trays that can go in here. I believe this is new for this year. You can put whatever you want in here. Jigging wraps, ripping wraps, They've got tons of different ones like this. So they've got, these are 3,600 size cases. They've got 3,700 size cases. Uh, this is a half and half where it's half small spoons, half big spoons. And then they've got even ones, uh, which I didn't pick this up last year, <clears throat> but I realized I've got a lot of like the Z Vibers. So this works for micro Z Vibers uh, in the K rips, T rips, those types of things. So they've got things for all of these that keeps them really nice and organized. I think I got six or eight of new ones of these and I already had like 12 of them that I bought last year. So I'm really excited to try these out. I'll for sure be doing more videos on the channel around my tackle assortment. So stay tuned to the channel uh, if you wanna see that stuff. But let's keep going to the next thing here. Next that you're gonna see is a couple more Eskimo accessories. So these are uh, part of their new shack accessory line that they launched this year, uh, the E-Hub system. So this is a quarter 20 mount throw like a camera mount on, uh, uh, underwater camera on, and then they've got a phone holder here too, which I'm excited about. This guy right here, so this is a plate. So I use the Summit Fishing Shuttle for my live scope system. What this is, is it's an aluminum plate that will mount to the front of my ATV. I can slide my shuttle right on top of it and clamp it in so that way I can go crazy across the lake it's not going to move anywhere and then when i get to where i'm going i unclip the sides and i can pull my shuttle out and i'm going to be able to put it in the house whole hop with it or anything like that that i want to do this allows me to use it for gps i've just got to put it onto my front rack and i'll be ready to go as we keep going right next to it here we've got two brand new rods these are from della bay i've never used their rods before you guys know I love my tuned up custom rods. Uh, this is another custom rod company here out of Minnesota. They actually put the, uh, the, the seat of the reel, a spot for it here. And then they have the, the band, the castration band marks in here. So you can put the bands in into the reel handle itself, which is really cool. I got myself a walleye rod and I got myself a nice panfish rod. Prano Pup the eyedropper. So I'm excited to try those out this year. They both have the high-vis tip on them. Uh, and of course they've got the recoil guides and everything like that. We've got the Otter Mini Sidekick. This thing's great because it goes under the front of your tub. If you have a one man, two man, any brand, doesn't need to be Otter, could be Clam, Eskimo, whatever you got. Uh, this is gonna be great for that. And then of course you can still use your Otter Rod holders there in the side too. I got both Quick Connect systems for the Ion and the Eskimo Augers. The reason why I like this is if I'm using a hub shack or out with somebody that does, I can actually use my auger to drill in the ice anchors, which is great. I don't need to bring a drill for them. Um, and it's the quick connect system. So I put a piece of this on the top of the auger or an auger extension. So I've got a couple of each of these so I can put extensions on, take them off. It's gonna be really great to swap out between an eight inch to the 10 inch for the house. That's what these guys are for and I'm really excited about it. Behind that, what you're gonna see here I put a video out just recently on the channel. This is called the flipping lid. So this is an ice hole cover that flips up as you can see here in the photos with your foot to push it. As you're uh, reeling in a fish, you can pull it out and then you can put it back down. So it's a hole cover for inside your house that you can fish through. Pops open with the push of a button for you to be able to catch your uh, fish and then close it back up so nothing's falling back down. But this is a pretty cool concept, so I picked one of those up this year that I'm gonna try out. We also have from Clam the ball hitch adapter. So this is gonna be important if you're pulling any sleds or your one-man shacks or anything like that, your flip overs. Uh, this is really great. It goes right over the ball that you maybe already have on your hitch. You don't need to buy a flapper attachment and bolt it on. This goes right on, and then usually your tow bar uh, can go right through there, so that's great. Another thing that I got this year that I'm gonna show you guys a lot more about, this is from Gen 2 Outdoors, is it is a hole cover 
that is intended to go into the ice when you're outside and you'll see it's raised up on the edges. The idea here is that if you're out ice fishing, right? Say that, say this is an icy surface, the snow, whatnot, the, the snow and water melt. So if something hits the ground, it'll usually run into the hole, right? Your phone, you drop it next to the hole, it's going to fall in. Well, not anymore. It'll hit the sides. I've got the cover on it too. This is pretty cool. I'm excited to use it. If you're jigging through it and you get a fish coming up, it actually self opens as well. So this is a pretty cool new product that I'm going to be trying out this year. And behind that, you'll see here is a fillet and carry board. This is essentially exactly what it says. So you can see here in the photo that's on it, it goes on top of a five gallon bucket. So on the back of the board, you can see that's the hole for the top of a five gallon bucket. And that's where your fish scraps go. So you can clean your fish, throw it on a bucket, clean your fish. You can even see the outline here where the five gallon bucket goes. Just wipe and push all your scraps inside of it. As you're cleaning, you got your beverage holder right here, place for your knife to go, and a ridge for all the water to drop back in too, and then boom, you're good to go. So a really nice way off of the floor, even in here, I can just do a five gallon bucket and clean my fish, or if you're out in the snow, you don't gotta do it down on the ice. This is really cool, I'm excited to use it this year. As we go further down here, we've got a nice new pair of gloves. These are some really, really nice gloves. These are the Stealth gloves from striker ice i have the black and red pair of these they have an ultra grip here they're thin they're fully waterproof they're warm i really like these gloves so i picked up another pair with the new color pattern that they came out with this year another product here from the bobber buddy is this guy right here so the idea is it has a little fan inside of here that you plug into dc outlet and it actually keeps your hole open by having uh, warm air blow down into your hole. So this is a really cool thing. It's got Velcro on the back of it, so you can actually just attach it inside of one of your hole sleeves, throw a 12 volt power into it, and you're good to go. Another thing that I'm really excited about is this guy right here. So this is also from the Bobber Buddy, and the idea here is that you attach this to the inside of your hole sleeve. You put your summit pole, or your uh, trans live imaging transducer pull through here if you have live imaging and it stays to the side of your hole. What that's gonna allow you to do, similar to this, so say this was my hole here, I can now do that and boom, I can still fish out of my hole and my transducer pull is right on the side. I don't no, no longer do I need the tripod on there. It's gonna be able to stay uh, right there on the side of the hole, which is really great. I'll have to show you guys how I'm using this this year. I can't wait to try it out. And then of course, we gotta talk about undercover guide. I got a few different ones of these. So these go into hole sleeves as well inside of a hard sided shack. Uh, and you've got your line alarm on there so that you can actually set set lines, get alerted when they go off. Uh, you can actually put a lighted rattle reel in there. I've got, I'm gonna deck this house out that I'm in right now and show you guys how these are used, but I'm really excited to try these out this year. I've wanted to for a couple of years, and this year now that I've got a actual wheelhouse where I'm gonna be able to uh, use whole sleeves in them, I'm gonna show you guys how these work, but I'm really excited about it. Now, in terms of baits and tackle, man, like, like look at this. I got an absolute ton. I spent way too much money on this stuff, but you know what? I typically do it at the beginning of the season and I don't really buy a ton more unless I'm in a bait shop and then of course something catches my eye and I gotta get it. But Frostbite Scissor Kick, I got quite a few different color patterns in these this year. The Rattling PT Spoon, last year uh, the Acme Rattle Master, still one of my confidence baits I'm gonna use this year. This looks very similar to it. There's a few differences, but I'm excited to try this out and see which one I like better. Since the Rattle Master did so good for me last year, I'm like, hey, maybe this will work a little better. Maybe it won't, and I'll still have to use the Rattle Master as my confidence spoon. We'll see. Tika Flash, lots of different colors and sizes in these. Really excited to try these out for panfish and even walleye this year. I think they're gonna be dynamite. You can see some of the other color patterns that I got here. Wonder Bread, we got a perch pattern, we got all gold. Then we also got the Acme Jackknife. So what's really cool about the Acme Jackknife is that you've got your head on it, the, the hook swings side to side, and then you have that jackknife hook on the side that's gonna just give you that extra hookup ratio. I'm really excited about trying that out. I got a few different 
uh, colors of those this year. More of the scissor kicks as we kind of go through here. More of the rattle and PT, different color patterns. Let's see what we haven't talked about. Euro Tackle, they came out with their spade blades this year. So I bought a few of these, some of them from Shields, some from the ice shows. Uh, these are going to be really, really good. I've actually got more baits on the way in the mail still uh, from uh, some custom companies that are making them that I'm excited to try out too. I got the Mac Daddy uh, from Fishing Assault. They've got their infused with the salt sauce. These are little plastics. So I got a few different things from them. I got the ticklers. I got waxies. Look how real these waxies look. Pretty phenomenal. Ice bones. Got a bunch of different stuff from them. And then I'll jump over to it now. You probably see a lot of the Northland stuff here. This is all of their Super Glow line. So they had a deal on their website where you could get one of every color that they have for each of the baits, and I picked them all up. So Super Glow Lures from Northland Tackle. I'm really excited to try those out. I'm a huge fan of Glow for ice fishing. I also had to, of course, pick up some uh, Hyper T tungsten jigs from Acme Tackle. So I'm excited to try these out uh, uh, this year. Those are gonna be probably really, really, really good uh, for walleye is what I'm expecting. I got a few different color patterns of those guys. Another one of the Rattle and PT, Scissor Kick, more of the Jack Knives, all the Northland stuff that we talked about. Rattle and PTs, Tika Flashes, like just an absolute ton of stuff here. Uh, ice winder. So we haven't talked about these yet. There's three different color patterns that you can see here. So this is the ice winder from Acme Tackle Company. It's a flutter spoon. Really excited to try these out. Uh, I think even whitefish are going to go after these things. So I'm stoked about that. When to get on that Cisco bite, especially this silver guy. I think this is going to do a little bit of damage out there. As you're checking out all the stuff that I got, let me know down in the comments, what did you pick up? Is there anything new here that you saw that you didn't know about? And now you're going to go take a look at, and then check out these other videos on the channel where I talk more about my favorite ice fishing gear. And until next time, take it easy.